Well, it's been a long time coming, but I'm finally going to make a decent fence for my Makita ML T100 table saw, contractor saw, whatever you want to call it. So the reason I'm making this, if you own one of these, you'll know why. Um, basically, this thing's a bit flimsy and a bit short. So ideally, it would get right back here to the back of the saw give the timber a bit more support as it goes past the blade and if you can see this being aluminium it flexes quite a bit and even though it stays fairly fixed at this point the end deviates quite a lot now that's no good when you're trying to put pressure against it while you're ripping a piece of wood so to get around that I'm ditching the aluminium and replacing it with steel. So this is a little bit longer, it's not quite as long as I'd hoped, it might be about an inch longer. But it's just an off cut and I don't want to cut a whole new length just to get an extra inch. But I will have timber up the sides, because another, another fault with this is, if you want to flip it over to this side of the blade, oh, all of a sudden this shit's in the way. So I'm getting rid of that shit. And I'll have it so that there's timber on both sides of the fence. That way I can quickly just chuck it from one side to the other and never have to worry about undoing these fiddly pain in the bum bolts. And I'm going to make it higher. It'll be roughly this size timber, probably 90 mil high. So it's three and a half inches. And that will be bolted to this the steel which is 45 mil or uh, what's that one and three quarter inches and it's about ooh, maybe 1.8 mil thick maybe two yeah so first thing to do pull this puppy to bits So what I'm going to do here is bolt my steel bar onto these two holes here. So they're already tapped, so I'll just drill some holes in my steel, bolt them back on, I can probably use the same screws even, oh, no, I probably need shorter ones. Now before you go to too much effort, make sure your bit of steel is nice and square and straight and everything else you're going to end up wasting your friggin time. Right, so now I'm going to mark my holes. I'm going to drill this hole the right size of the screws and this one I'm going to make a bit bigger so that I've got a little bit of adjustment to get it square and straight. So I'm going to use the same screws, which I think I will, um, I'm just probably have to put an extra washer on here just so that it doesn't stick down too far and hit the table. So I need this to be I need the first hole to be six mil. Could almost be five and a half, but not quite. So we make the first hole six mil, and I'll make that closer hole more like oh, what do we got? Seven and a half. Be enough movement, that's heaps, maybe six and seven mil. So it looks like I'll have to drill more holes because I forgot to take into account that I wouldn't be able to get the screws in there. I thought I'd be able to get in there but I forgot about 
this bit here it sticks up just a bit too far for me to get anything really in there and get this first nut in see that one is in there at the moment holding it so I can get in with that one but to get to this one down here it's a bit of a pain in the butt so unfortunately I didn't want to just for aesthetics but I'm gonna to have to drill a hole through the top here just had a quick look through my nuts and bolts and what have you and found some of the same ones that are slightly shorter unbelievable <laughs> so I might as well put them in so it locks in place nicely but it's touching at this end so I'm just going to shim it under here. You could put a washer underneath this bolt, but I'm just going to release the bolt and put a, a shim under just to raise that end. And then I will my timber on the sides. So with that shimmed, you can now see I've got a bit of a gap there. So that's good. So the timber I'm using for my fence is Vitex. It's a hardwood from Solomon Islands. It's nice and hard and straight. Make sure you get nice straight bits of wood for this. Um, so profile wise it's 90 mil by 19 mil or about three and a half inches by three quarters of an inch. You'll need two that are for what I'm doing I'm using two 770 mil long one for each side. They will hang over the back a bit but they will also protrude out the front a bit. This gives you a little extra room when you starting off your bit of timber I mean they could come out a long way if you really wanted to um, and they're gonna protrude out the back by 90 mil and then I have a 300 mil long piece of the 90 mil by 19 and that will go along the back here like so as a way of sort of locking in the back so I have my timber in position it is marked out to be line up with that one in the back there um, I've taken the shim out of this end and just take got one at this end so that when I screw this board on it is not sticking up proud of the workbench um, so if I'd had that up 0.6 of a mil this would be up 0.6 of a mil and I'd hit it all the time or I'd have to shim that down I couldn't be bothered shimming that down so I just thought I would drop the back and the fence can basically run along this back edge so I'm going to put three screws along each side. Um, I'll just drill them, mark them with a small drill bit. When you're doing this, make sure you've got everything nice and square before you start, because this thing isn't the most accurate in the world. Make sure you don't drill your holes directly opposite each other. If your bolt's too long, you'll end up hitting them and then you'll have to drill other holes and you'll end up with something that looks like shit. So I'm going to drill the holes and then I'm going to tap screws through. I'm going to use these 40mm long 6mm stainless steel machine screws for attaching the timber to the steel on the fence. So I've got to drill some 6mm holes, countersunk, in my timber sides. So next I need to drill the holes in my piece of steel. Now I'm using 6mm by 1mm thread tap, so my hole needs to be properly to get a nice tight fit about 5.2mm. You could do it at 5mm, but 5.2 is better. If you can't find a 5.2mm drill bit, you can use what I'm using here, which is a 1364 drill bit. 1364. <sighs> Got my tap here, being lazy and bunged it in the drill. When you do stick one in a drill, just be careful that you don't break it. They do break easily.
Right, so with my piece of steel now tapped and deburred, it's time to chuck on the timber. Flip and repeat. So I now have a functioning fence, um, and I could leave it at that, but I would like to see if I can get it so that it locks in the back. And when I pull the handle at this end, it ever so slightly draws the whole fence this direction. So if I put this board on the back, fairly snug, when it's open, when I pull it tight, it should lock in place. Hopefully I can still slide it easily enough. That's what I'm going to try now. So with my fence flipped over, I'm now going to attach my brake backboard. I'm just going to screw it at first, just in case it doesn't work, and then I'll take it apart and glue it later. It works even better than I thought. The back backboard here helps hold it a lot steadier than it ever was before. I can still move it a little bit. But it's a lot stiffer. I could tweak that a little bit and make that even tighter. But it's good at the moment, I can still slide it nice and easily. Right, let's make a cut. Give it a coat of oil. So there she is, she turned out much better than I thought she was going <clears> to. <throat> the locking board at the back, I didn't really have high hopes for that, but works pretty good. Now I could put sort of storage in the top in here, or I could cover it up with another board, but I'm not too concerned about what it looks like, as long as it's functional, and it is functional. Um, and I don't really want to store anything in the top of here because it'll just get full of sawdust and shit and if I want to take this off the crap and fall out of it if I don't keep it up the right way so what's the point? Anyway, it does the job and that's the most important thing. I can't believe I haven't didn't do it a long time ago. So like, subscribe, etc. If you're interested in a zero clearance insert plate have a look at the video I did on this one. I'll put a link at the end here or it'll be or and it'll be in the description below so there's two of the things I've done to make this saw a little bit better there is lots more things that could be done to it um, I'll see you on the next one cheers like subscribe etc